1945, a single equation unlocked enough energy to flatten a city. Here's the declassified math behind nuclear bombs and why they're so terrifyingly efficient. Einstein proved mass is energy. Convert just one gram of matter to energy and you get 21 kilotons of TNT. That's more than Hiroshima, 15 kilotons. Let's see that in numbers. E equals mc squared. 0.001 kilograms times the speed of light squared. That's 90 trillion joules. Enough to power New York City for two minutes. Picture something the size of a sugar cube. Now imagine it releasing the energy of a mushroom cloud. But it's not just about the math. Nuclear bombs need fissile material, like uranium-235. But here's the catch. Not every atom explodes. You need critical mass. For uranium-235, that's about 52 kilograms, roughly the size of a grapefruit. Why so much? Because neutrons have to hit more atoms before escaping. Think of it like a pinball game, but where every bounce sets off another explosion. And if you listen closely, the ticking speeds up edging toward catastrophe. Now triggering it? That's the real magic trick. You need perfect symmetry. The Nagasaki bomb used explosive lenses to crush a plutonium core into a supercritical state in just microseconds. As the density goes up, the critical mass shrinks. A softball-sized core gets squeezed down to a golf ball. That's when the real nightmare begins. But let's be clear, you can't just build one. Even if you had uranium, good luck. You'd also need centrifuges to enrich it to 90% uranium-235. Explosive precision down to the nanosecond, and a way not to die from radiation poisoning. Most DIY attempts fizzle out before they even start. This math changed history, but should it exist? Comment necessary or too dangerous? Subscribe, and keep in mind that math isn't magic, it's everywhere.